Not as though I have already attained, either were already perfect, but I follow after, that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching unto those which are before. Philippians 3, verses 12 and 13, these are very familiar passages of scripture. If you've been trekking with the body of Christ for any amount of time, I love in verse 12, how Paul is speaking where he says, but I follow after that. If I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus, this word apprehend, it means to comprehend. It means to understand. It means to know, to perceive, and to obtain. It means to lay hold of. It means to take possession of, and it means to see. So in other words, he's saying, when you read the whole chapter, that which I've had, that which I've walked through, the life that I've known, I let that go so that I could lay hold of, so that I could seize what has seized me. I may apprehend what has apprehended me. I may understand what has understood me me, which is Christ Jesus. And so what he's saying is, uh, Paul is saying, I meet with Christ and we are apprehending each other. So everything else that's going on in me, uh, um, external of me and the outside world, my past, all of those things uh, don't come to this meeting between Christ and I. I am looking to seize what has seized me. Verse 13, I love this. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. So I don't get it. I don't understand everything. This really is past my intellect. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching unto those things which are before. The word before talks about ranking. Talks about ranking. So Paul is saying that I'm forgetting those things which are behind. This one thing I do, I'm forgetting, I'm letting go of, I'm leaving off of, I'm acting as if it's not even there anymore. I'm acting as if it never even happened because what's before outweighs and outranks what is behind me. And so a lot of times in life, we look at what's behind us and the bad things, sometimes they fuel, you know, how we see what is uh, before us. It lays a foundation for expectation and probability. But then there's also this other thing where because of maybe age or, you know, a different time in our life, we look at what's behind us and we count that as our glory days. And the Lord is saying in this scripture that your glory days are ahead of you. What's ahead of you outweighs and outranks that which is behind you. Your life has a glory to it. You are a glory carrier. You are carrying the now moments of Christ. Now faith is, so you're carrying the now of heaven. You're carrying the now of the decision of God. And so this causes your life to sparkle. This causes your life to have sparks. We talk about two people falling in love or two people encountering each other. And it says the sparks were flying. Well, you are encountering Christ and the sparks are flying. You're apprehending that which is apprehending you. You're understanding that which has understood you. You are uh, you are obtaining that which has obtained you and that is Christ Jesus. And so this morning, I want to encourage you that your life is spark- sparkling. You've got sparks flying off of your life because you are carrying the glory of heaven. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning, as we get ready to get up and get out and do life, thank you, Lord, that there is nothing mundane about this adventure with you. We forget those things which are behind us. We leave off. We bury. We act as if they never even happened. We do not consider. We do not bring to the table when we meet with Jesus. We allow the mind that is in Jesus to be in us. So we are of one mind. And so, Father, I thank you that the sparks are flying off of the lives of your people. I thank you, God, that when they walk around in the earth. People see this this amazing life of glory, this life that is glowing in an anointing, this life that is glowing in the magnificence of being in your presence. Our countenance changes this day. And so, Father, if anybody woke up downtrodden, if anybody woke up despondent, if anybody got out of bed and they were depressed, I thank you, Father, that what's in front of them far outweighs what is behind them. We have not apprehended, just like Paul said, but this one thing we do. We forget those things which are behind us and we press into, we reach for 
that which is before us. We thank you, God, for a life that is sparkling.